What is up guys, welcome back to Let's Play Supreme Commander as the Aeon. In the last part, we did Operation High Tide, which we basically fought off the UEF and defended Mata, uh, sorry, took Mata from the UEF and defended our position on it. One or the other, I can't remember these days. <laughs> Something in the operation. In this part, we're going to do Operation Entity, number four. Harmony to unite. You performed well on Matar, but the Thank situation you. has become complicated. Commander mm -hmm. Arnold was personally enlightened by the princess, <laughs> but he revealed yeah. some troubling news. The UEF is constructing a weapon of horrific power called Black Sun. Ooh. It can destroy entire planets. Avatar Markson is already lobbying for an all-out attack on Earth. He has a point. Why not do that? Hello, Knight. Uh, princess. I wish we could meet under better circumstances. The Avatar's war drums are getting louder, and it will be difficult to hold him in check. Um. That is why the princess has removed you from the service of Avatar Markson. Thank you. From this Try. day forward, you will serve the princess directly. What? You will be her champion. Um. This is Procyon, a planet deep in Cybran territory. We know little of it save its name. In my meditations, I have sensed something there. Some other. I cannot describe it, but it troubles me greatly. You must go to Procyon and discover what it is. What? Fear not, champion. I sense greatness in you. You gate to Procyon immediately. Go forth with grace, champion of the Illuminate. Now here's the thing, because we've been doing the um, all the other all the campaigns at once, and you can kind of see links between the three. I don't remember Procyon being mentioned. I know it's a cyber world, judging on the map and the fact they're saying it's a cyber world. But if you've been paying attention to cyber campaign, I think it's QAI. And if you don't know what that is, um, watch the cyber LP. You'll know what it is. But yeah, um, we're moving into Operation 4. I'm going to do these uh, one a day. Well, so I'm going to try and do one operation a day, and we'll see what happens from there. So where do we start? And um, why have we already got flips in the map? Naval Factory. It's a great start. Champion, there is a Cybran settlement called Nexus 04 to your north. The princess does not want the population cleansed, but you are to eliminate all military resistance within the settlement. You didn't say choir out. <coughs> oh, jeez. Why are you jumping off this close? Capture the node. There's a facility in northwest around the node. It is purpose unknown to capture the node. Destroy all war machines. That's the node? Okay, I can do that. Not easy enough. I'm still not loading. I need to get the friggin' factory done first. So yeah, um, I've actually been, doing, I've been trying to get through the campaign of Forge Alliance, and I actually I do want to do Forge Alliance after I finish this campaign with this game. I don't know how long it's going to be afterwards. I just know I want to do it because I actually do really do enjoy these games. Um, they're really a lot of fun. So get in there. Uh, build that there. We'll get two of these down for now. Um, when we get an engineer up, we'll get a naval factory going. I'm actually, I'm actually saying the names right, that's not a good sign. Uh, build that... there. So now we have the mass going. Uh, we're not going to capture the rest of the points for now, we're going to keep contained. I'll go check out over here. It's got to be something to focus on. Also, I might have overdone the energy over the mass production, but energy is going to solve itself soon. There we go, getting positives now. This guy goes about 48, 38, I'll say. I also got, I also got, because I've been, well, I've been playing a lot of Forge Alliance now, because, yeah, I, I prefer Forge Alliance, it balances a lot of things. Sorry, rebalance a lot of things. Attention, all Cyberin commanders. This is Director Elliot at Node 73. Uh oh. An Aeon commander has just landed southeast of Nexus 04. We need assistance. The Aeon will murder us all. What? Why can I see that communication? Champion, there is a facility called Node 73 to your northwest. It appears to house a data relay station of unknown purpose. Proceed to the facility and capture the node. 
Quire out. Well, that'll be easy enough. Must have been a glitch where I got this too early. Like, I guess that was meant to be when I learned about it. Well, whatever the case, what have they got so far? Uh, structures, anti-air turrets, tech ones. What's over here? Power gens, mass fabs, storage, storage. Tech two has a missile launcher. I'm getting fancy. Okay, tactical missile launchers are very good um, against stationary targets. They can be intercepted. You actually can build specialist, specialist buildings to deal with them. But generally speaking, I don't use them myself. They're better for attack than they are for defense. Um, or well, against stationary targets, like or slow moving targets, like heavy tanks, for instance. But considering how the Aeon is, um, we're the, we're the mo we got mobility on our side, so yeah. Let's get an engineer up. Um, I don't want to upgrade this yet. Ooh, heavy tank drop. What else have we got? Is there someone in chat? Okay. The gill. We got the gill. Yeah. Meh. Gill? What's gill? What is this gill of which you speak? There's our engineer. So, now we are going to get a radar up. So, cover there. And. Here. Champion, we detect a cyber naval base on the lake to the west. Naval units are forming a blockade on the river in order to cut off access to it. You are not required to destroy the naval base. Attack at your discretion. Quire out. Thank you. So it's, a, it's an optional objective. That's going to be useful because that's going to give me access to my ac to actual naval abilities. Please hover. They aren't hover. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Put these on. Repeat. Where are we? Now I'll leave the. Actually, mm, it's gonna be good to get these guys out. So we'll put on repeat. Uh, you're gonna build just anti air on repeat. Can we handle that? Uh, nearly. Actually, what? Actually, no. Cancel that. Cancel. This. Remember, champion, you need only defeat the war machines in the settlement. Quire out. You don't have to keep telling me. Not five. I don't have to go, yes, mother. Let's get some basic defense. Are these anti air? Anti air? Anti -air? Anti -air? Uh, yes. So, we're going to get enough defenses just so we can hold the line. I'm presuming the attack is going to come north, we'll get some in the south as well. And then we're going to get our, our production sorted out. Uh, I want to get a tier 2 factory, are we doing that? Yes we are. It is a worry again, but then it always is in this game. For me anyway. Uh, I built these wrong. Dang it. Every single dang time I just built these bloody things wrong. Should put it closer. Over one. Oh, hello. Call it. Uh, a couple of attack ropes. It's not really good to them. What can we get in here? Normal. The most important thing right now is to get the navy. Is to navy? Get the Tetsu factories up. Get some power gens just to stabilize. Uh, Tetsu engineers are really going to be the way to do this. So we can get the tear to extractor up straight away, we can get better jet power generators, meaning we can tear these ones down. Which is going to be a big boon, and we are going to be able to just expand a bit more. So it's going to mean tier 2 anti-air and tier 2 anti-ground. Come on, you can do it buddy. Thank you. That's an anti -air done. It's weird coming from because I've been because of Forge Alliance, it's weird going back to this and just playing it like, you know it was, if that makes sense. Cause the the, the Forge Alliance really balanced a lot of things. It really balanced a lot of things. Hell, I, it's like an entirely different game in a sense. 
little faster. Oh yeah, can this, this upgrade? Yes, it can. Uh, it's gonna take too much power to upgrade right now. Once we stabilize, we'll think about it. <coughs> the key right now is to get the power going. Maybe enough with that. I'll do four. Uh, yeah, I'll go wait for the power generator. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna sweep back here, take this out first, head north, capture this node, secure the island. That's get this next battle's gonna take place in the north, and this way. It's got to. So a navy is still gonna be useful. In fact it's gonna be fight it's gonna be essential here. Uh getting through here, possibly with a navy, I could probably use destroyers to get rid of these mass extractors, or I could use a F the navy or the sorry, army or the ground army. Sorry. Army or the air force. I can speak English, me, I'm sure, to secure the area. Um, is it? I, mm, it's probably, honestly, probably more worth destroying it. Uh, while we're at it, get me uh, four land scouts. No, let's grab ten. They're gonna go scouting. They're gonna find what they can. No, but don't say that long to build, even when we're on mass crash. Yeah, that's freaking fast. Four seconds. Only 48 minutes. Only 40 minutes. Jeez. Eight minutes, sorry. Jeez. Yeah, power's gonna be fine for a while now. Let's, get, let's build these anyway, because I'm gonna uh, do mass extract stuff. But it'll help us out when we get down to the engine help. Before that. So now I'm kind of kind of power. Yes, I don't know how to make it. Shields! Sweet! Better get shields. I'm the flavor takes some stuff. All that anti air and none of it hit. Oh, you did. Thank God. <coughs> Six of our scouts. Let's go in this way. The princess is worried that pacifying Nexus 04 is taking too long, champion. Is there a problem? We've Quiet. barely begun to stabilize. Give me friggin' the time. The here is stronger than we anticipated. We are uploading the Shield of Light Tech 2 Shield Generator schematic into your ACU. The Shield Generator was designed to protect you from general ordnance, such as artillery and bombs. Choir out. Um. Ah, that's where it is. Oh! Okay, that's where it's always been. It's been hiding from me. Right, um. That's way longer range. Put that there. That there. And there. Right, and then we'll get another tier two just in case. I actually want to try something. Um, which was putting you on patrol, Lou. Oh, sweet! Learn something new every day! <laughs> okay, been playing Civcom 2 as well, and I actually explain that, so I'll, yeah, I'll admit now that I've, I haven't just learned that, I've just played the other game. But you put engineers on patrol, they will automatically reclaim everything they come across in their path that's reclaimable and repair anything they come across that's repairable. So it's off to, so I'm going to use that instead of manually clicking everything they need repairing. Which should speed me up. And if it doesn't, well, then something's going wrong. Well, that's I'll get myself a drink pulled. Oh, so well, you got one. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I haven't used shield generators yet, have I? Um, shield generators are really useful if you use them right. Uh, they absorb some damage before and then they collapse. Um, well, damn, this one here absorbs what eleven thousand damage and then it collapses. But then, um, when the shield collapses, it takes some time to reboot f back to full health and then it'll go up again. The range isn't actually that bad considering. So I could, but, but you know. It takes power to keep running. Uh, does it mention how much power it uses? 150 each. So, you know, for a rate of uh, just under the cost of a radar, you could get that. Oh, air staging! Yes. So, it depends on your taste. I don't use them myself. I'm starting to teach myself to use them. Because it's, it's like. I don't want to say hard coded, but I. <laughs> makes me sound like a computer geek. Uh, <laughs> it's like in my head. I just don't use them, and honestly, that's to my own detriment. Uh, get two of these. I want to get all this up. Uh, we're gonna need. Just need watching this guy do his work. Get another tier two, and then we'll start working on transferring the stuff over to tier two stuff. Do you want to take out that naval factory? Oh yeah, that's the scouts then. Yes, right. We are gonna make them all go do do and do and do again and do and down to here. Let's do it. Right. Good hunting, guys. We live long. That's a way to do it, I suppose. I think the hard part early on really is just getting your economy so once you've done that you're fine. I mean hell I'm not exactly I'm not struggling right now, I'm not going to do it well. I wish I could do some my own music this. Oh yeah. Um no one knows I'll be camp. I need to keep that in mind though. Four hundred. It's a good margin. I'll work with that. Make it sound like I'm fast. Yeah, I can work with it. They know I'm here. Remember, champion, you need only defeat oh, the war machine. Oh, just shut up! I get the out. hint. I'm working. That's not what. We're, what the hell? Really? That's all they've got. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's not the idea, but we'll go up here now. Really? Is this manned? Don't think I'm gonna let you have that, fanatic. Okay, I guess it is. Well, eventually, have a horse do. Right, you're for anything. Um, we are going to get. Do we have a tier two mass fab? No, we don't. Say one then. So we'll get a mass fab. Uh, we can handle. Uh, I'd say three. Three. So one there. One there. There. Okay, there's artillery on the island. Then. That's a great start. Yeah, two twos. They're gonna have a tough time. If I'm right. I think they're gonna have a tough time with me. So the node good. is heavily defended by artillery, so we're giving you the Asylum Tier <laughs> Two Mobile Shield Generator schematic. Construct a few of them. They should let your units get close to the enemy without taking too much damage. Wire out. Not going to be needed. This is Director Elliot. The Aeon are assaulting Node <laughs> 73. Someone do something. The Aeon oh, are right up. on top of us. We haven't done anything. Keep your pants on. I've got units inbound to your position. I haven't done anything. I'm gonna go over anyway. 
Uh, Scuttle? Yeah, Scuttle. Naval factories. Two of them. Two of them, unless I haven't seen one, but still. Two of them for now. How long do these damn things take? <coughs> to be fair, we are doing a mass crash right now. Come on, get that one up and we'll be jet dandy. It's not in space. So I had to ask a friend, um, why don't they just nuke the planets? You know, like, because there were starships in the opening cinema, you saw them. But the, um, apparently it's not an option, you can't just blast them <coughs> from space. So you don't get to go to space battles, annoyingly. <coughs> However, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Come on. Oh, that's better. One down. Looks fancy. Slightly, anyway. Not this one's missing the. Where is it? This one's missing the spikes. I always preferred building tier two straight out of the out of the box. Always made more sense to me. If I build that there, then we can work on power and mass fabs off it. <coughs> We're also getting a lot more power because stuff's been done. We get stuff done. So I've got to help that one out the most. This is what I'm most worried about. It's been a very quiet first part. <laughs> then again, that's probably how most of these operations go. Very quiet to begin with. Yeah, I'm out of energy. <sighs> Alright, uh, I can turn off the radar. Mm. I'm not going to need them for now. Actually, I've got them. There's a lot more than 50. How much these things take? 15. Really? Holy Christ. I don't take as much as I thought. Damn. Alright, so what are we building? A lot of stuff. Uh, the Oblivion's taking... a lot. Yeah, it's not green enough to cover it, is it? Nope! Anyway, um... You guys were 40 each, but that puts me on a mass crash. Actually, we could probably do that for a bit, just so we'll get the energy up. So that's not like it's hurting. I think it's actually going faster because of that. The princess is worried that pacifying Do you mind? is taking too long, champion. Is there a problem? Choir out. You! I'm trying to do a job here. I'm trying to get everything set up so I can actually do this safely. By the way, I've got more skills if you can tell. Love skills. Uh right, oop, wrong way. I just don't think it's laid back gaming. <laughs> Maybe that could be a thing. Let's lay back with Spring Commander. <laughs> right, what else have we got? Um so Yeah, I can turn you guys back on now, that'll keep us fine. Yep, we're dandy. Mass issue now. If I can, what I'm going to do, get this built, <laughs> and then we're going to see what energy we're on. We should be on like plus 600 or so, and we're going to build loads of mass fabs around them. Because you can actually surround it with mass fabs and be fine. Why are these things at different speeds? That's weird. Hmm. We are detecting incoming cyber units. Prepare for battle. Uh, Fire out. Uh, I hope my defenses hold. <laughs> hope my engineer doesn't die. No! Air units. We got our attack boats. Interceptors. Just interceptors. Really? Oh, there we go. Main attack. Yep, attack bombers. Still gonna struggle going through my stuff. Or oh, not. Nah, 
useful here. Let's get you to build another one of these. There. And then you, I need more mass fabricators. Uh, we can afford to get ten of these? Yes, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And help on that, it's not really done. That will solve our energy worries. Um, we lost. Uh, attack boat. So, otherwise, you still bother them? Sure. Advisory is really consider getting a line factory upgrade. Um, picking the forty. Might want to consider getting a naval factory upgrade soon. A <coughs> uh, couple of heavy tanks. Cost 20 energy to run? Hmm, used to me. <coughs> it's a new one to me. Oh, well, look, another air unit. I bet it's, an, I bet it's a flying eyes. Yep, air scout. Dead air scout. Oh, it's the naval yard, I don't think. This will be your final day. I will overact you! Just to keep everything fixed, yeah. No, dude, we're fine. We're dandy. Don't know where I've got that line from. Just keep saying it. Fine and dandy, yay! So good, yeah, we're good. Uh, good for mass army. Mm. Start upgrading this. <coughs> then we can start getting a navy together. Because we're going to need cruisers. If we're going to control the seas, anyway. So you are gonna build about a couple more of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, champion, eight, you need nine, only defeat the war machines in the settlement. Quire I get the hint. Don't tell me five million in two times. Uh, can we upgrade you? Uh, we'll upgrade the other one as well, just in case. Uh, tier one extractors, where are they? Let's get you all done as well. Cost me a lot of mass, but hey, we can handle it. So I got tier two engineers having a fun time. All right, we're up around the back. That's the plan. Are you giving us locations of our time? No. Oh, I can see all air factory. Okay, we know where their air force is. I don't know where their navy is. I think we don't know where it is. Hmm. Uh, just in case. Of course, they keep flying overhead. <coughs> when do I keep losing? Oh, the bombers! Hello! Now, one thing I've forgotten. Torpedo, but the bombers actually with the sirens have an EMP effect, which stops them working for us. What the problem is, I have so much damage. Yeah, around there. Damn, we're so low on mass. Holy hell! Maybe we're going enough. Well, next minute we don't. Eh, get another power gen up. Uh, 
I wish I had it in line. <laughs> just because it's simpler. I weren't building it for anything else, then. That's actually helping. That's actually kind of clever. Thank you, engineer. <laughs> and turn you guys off for now. That's perfect. <laughs> actually got balanced. Holy hell. <laughs> You're still not great. Yes, you are. Where we go? Decent. Decent range. We can see everything we need to. <coughs> Here we are, this is done. So we'll start building that navy. So then, folks. Oops, wrong thing. On that note, I am going to call this an episode here. So I'll see you next time when we will begin this operation proper. So have fun. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the episode, please leave a like and a comment. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.